What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to be taking on the bommel i'm going to show you how i like to defeat this guy try and beat him as quickly as possible i know there's like solo team comps but they can be like 17 min runs but also they can fail you can do like 12 minutes of trying to solo him and then fail it's just really really painful or there's other team comps which are incredibly tanky but also incredibly slow. So I'm going to sacrifice one of my keys. You know, obviously I'd love to be doing a dark vein instead and getting that um, lethal gear instead. But for you guys, I'm going to do a bommel video. So this is my favorite team comp for him, blowing up bommel. We've got the Rat King, we've got Gnu, we've got um, Arbiter, Astrolith, and Gaius. Um, Rat King in the lead, he's going to increase our attack, which our bombs will scale off our damage. Show you the setup. So Rat King can do what he wants first turn. Second turn, we are locking out his A2. We do not want, we want to save that for the boss. A3, he's going to open up with that. And then we actually want him to do his A1 as well, because that means we can throw out even more bombs at the boss. Um, Gnu, um, so we're going to lock out his A3 for the entire fight. Um, first fight, he can use Fury of King, AoE damage, decrease attack, weaken, all that good stuff. Uh, round three, we're going to um, open up with our A3. Crazy damage, obviously, going to chip away at the boss. Um, for the A2, we can start using to, you know, can use A2 afterwards. Um, Arbiter does what she wants, and then we're locking out everything. On round two, we are going to let her use Destiny's Call cool. just in case anyone dies, she can revive them, bring them back. Uh, then round three, we want to prioritize her A3, boost that turn meter, but also bring in that increased attack as well. Astrolith, one of my favorite champions in the game, so underrated. She can do some crazy good damage with her A2 um, and also her A3 as well really really underrated um you can do some really creative teams with her anyone that brings like an unkillable buff um astralith cannot die then she will literally turn around any champion in the game doesn't matter how tank they are does the a3 they exchange hp taking them from like 100 to 1 percent hp uh, and then astralith will just drop them and she'll be at full health crazy good um a2 we're gonna lock out her um her bomb and then we want to open up with the bomb. And then we just want her to use the A1 because she, if she gets a crit, um, she'll just boost our turn meter by 15%. Uh, Gaius, we're locking out the A2 on the first round. Second round, we're going to open up with the A2. And the reason for that is, and then not use it. The reason for that is, is that he's going to bring in control. He's going to help kill the waves, just speed it up a little bit. And then we want him to open up on the boss with the A2. So we're only going to use one key because, like I said, I want to be farming uh, Dark Fae. You can farm um, Bommel, but I just feel that that gear is so good. It's so hard to come by Savage and good lethal gear. You need it for so much content now, like especially with Hydra, Arena, all that good stuff. Don't waste it. Don't waste it, guys. So you need to take that opportunity to get it. And it's a slow run. Well... The waves are very slow. The boss is like literally 10 seconds. So it takes us about 30 seconds per wave. And if you want, you don't have to full also this. You can manually do it. I know that some people don't mind doing that. For me personally, you know, I'd rather just let it run. Don't have to worry. I guess what's great about uh, Gnu as well is that he is um, throwing out. Um, he'll freeze people as well. Um, but yeah, we're getting around there now and everyone's going to start popping off. Those bombs are going to start killing people. And just need this guy to take a turn. So bit of a slow run, to be honest. Okay, 1 minute 10 to get to the boss. And now let's, let's turn it on full O. Can put it on one speed. So Astro, oh, Arbiter's going to come in first. Boost that turn we are. Increase that attack. Astrolyph coming in with the bombs. 
Gaius throwing out bombs didn't land. So we might get a failed run now. All because those bombs didn't land. Rat King throwing out his bombs. And then more bombs oh, uh, from his A1. But it looks like we only landed one. So a little bit of a, an accuracy issue there. But this is what I love. You just see all these bombs just like popping off on him. But we should still be able to clear this quite comfortably. Um, Gaius is not the best option, to be honest, just because of the weak affinity. But as long as we can just get some more bombs from the Rat King. And the other good thing as well is that if Gaius dies, he will trigger those bombs. And Astrolith just coming in to finish off the boss. Can she do it? Come on, Sol Reap. There we go. So not the best run, and a few things did go wrong. Um, but yeah, definitely, let's try one more. Let's try one more. See if we can get a slightly smoother run. But yeah, basically all you need is just three bomb champions, Gaius, uh, not Gaius, Gnu and Arbiter, and you should be good to go. And there's so many good bomb champions in this game now compared to what it used to be like back in the day. Uh, War Mother, she is a great option. She actually has, I think I don't know if it's in, a, I think it's in a passive, but she does extra damage to bosses with bombs. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think. There's also an epic dwarf now. I can't remember her name. Something Gun. She is also a really good option. But if you've got legendaries, you know, of course you're going to be using your legendaries over your epics any day of the week. But yeah, just cycling around. And now we just need to trigger these bombs. And it's one of my favorite things to watch. I just love the bombs just going doo -doo 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 and just blowing shizzle up. But yeah, and obviously bombs are still really, really good in the game, especially for the stone skin meta. Do you need accuracy to land it though? So bringing in something like Lady Kimmy that can increase your accuracy will definitely help with that. Um, because you definitely will be going against cleansers. Uh, and we just need Gaius to land those bombs. Again, he messed it up. Um, to be fair, I don't know if this team's 100%, mainly because I just run it once and call it a day because I don't farm uh, bomb or gear. Even though, like I said, it is pretty solid gear. Um, resistance, defense, it's good. It is good gear. But yeah, pretty much looks like it's just going to be the same again. Oh. Bit of a smoother run this time, though. It's just a shame that Gaius didn't land his bombs. If he lands his bombs, it's so cool. Like, literally, just bomb will sort of, like, I don't know, he trips out, and he just, like, standing, and then just drops, like, literally just drops him. So let's check out the builds and mastery, guys. Recently used, so my Astrolith is in a pretty sick build. Uh, she's in Cruel, just because you get that extra attack. The ignore defense doesn't really help her with her bombs, but it does help with her other abilities. So we're looking for speed, we're looking for a little bit of crit rate, and we're mainly looking for accuracy and attack percentage. So attack percentage on the gloves, attack percentage on the chest piece, and this is old, this is a very old build. Um, definitely should like replace that out now. Got speed on the boots, terrible ascension. Attack on the ring, attack on the amulet, and then attack on the banner. Rolls in speed and attack as well. So very good piece. 50k HP. 7.3k attack. Um, 271 speed. So really, really fast. You do want your Astrolyph to be fast. Um, then, yeah. She doesn't need any... I don't know why I said accuracy. She doesn't need accuracy. Her bombs are irresistible. So... That means you can be a little bit cheeky and get away with squeezing out some more attack on her. I do like Soul Reap on her. It does help finish things off for PvE content and for the arena. Mastery, she has very, very specific masteries. Um, doesn't need accuracy, so we're going to take extra HP. Um, we want Arcane Celebrity, so when um, her bombs go off, we've got a good chance of uh, boosting our Termeter. Laura still to increase our attack and our speed. She does not benefit from any of the other um, masteries, 
So don't waste your energy, guys. Save your gems, save your energy for another for another champion. Then we've got um, more attacks. So it's like the one time. This is the one time we don't take that crit rate. Um, we're taking crit damage. Don't really need it. But um, we just want to go into Whirlwind of Death and Cycle of Violence. Whirlwind Death is really good, though. Just, again, if we do get kills, it's just going to help make her even faster. Heart of Glory, do a bit more damage. Singled out to help with damage as well. And basically... All the way into War Masters. War Masters is probably the best option. Well, nothing else really benefits her. That's one of the problems with Astralith is that nothing really helps apart from War Masters um, for PvE content and for the arena. So yeah, there's not not a lot of good options there for her. Then we've got Arbiter, triple speed as you do. Um, gloves. We've got flat HP. Um, the best gloves I've got in the account. So it is what it is. Obviously, all we care about on our bar is speed. Um, again, the primary stat does not matter. We just want speed. Um, little handy trick. Because Arbiter, all we care about is speed. It doesn't matter what anything else is. I've got common common boots that we farmed up. Uh, just makes it easier. There's a little, little hack you can use to farm campaign um, just to get these easier. Then we've got two pieces of uh, reaction gear on her as well. Got um, HP on the ring, defense on the amulet, and a nice triple roll on the banner with resistance on. So 61k HP, 3.0k um, defense, 376 uh, speed. Pretty slow to be honest. That's a slow arbiter, but again, I'm free to play. I do not have faction guardians. She's not empowered. Uh, and just trying to get the best speed gear that I can. Need a triple roll on the shield. Be lucky if we can get that at some point. And you can see no quad rolls. No quad rolls. Uh, and yet nothing else really matters. For the blessing, I think Intimidate Presence is the best for Arena. And nothing else is really... You not. I don't know. You don't really... It's not often you use Arbitar in uh, PvE. So masteries, uh, we've gone down defense and uh, support. So for defense, improve parry just for a bit of survivability, even though she is kind of super squishy. None of these other masteries down here are going to benefit you. And I don't feel anything's going to help here as well. So we've actually managed to skip two masteries there. So again, we've been super efficient, saving, uh, saving those gems, saving that energy. So sort of just taking a bit of accuracy um taking rapid uh response as well so when our buffs expire can boost our temia laura still is essential to get every little bit of speed we can and timely intervention is crazy good on arbiter so if anyone dies um oh no sorry if anyone's hp drops below 25 percent, it will boost our temia by 20 percent. so it means we can cut in we can get revives we can then boost our team's temia is the best um, best mastery, a hundred percent on Arbiter. So Gnu, he is in a real budget build. Um, he's in perception and crit damage. If you can, definitely go for lethal and savage instead. Um, but yeah, so we're looking for speed. We're looking for crit rate. We're looking for crit damage and accuracy and defense. So crit damage on the gloves. Um, accuracy on the chest piece. Speed on the boots, defense on the ring, uh, crit damage on the chest piece, and then accuracy on the banner. And it's only a five-star banner, but it does have a nice triple roll in there. Um, just my dwarfs have been really unlucky when it comes to banners and getting accuracy pieces, but hopefully get an upgrade soon. 49k HP, 3.3k defense. 251 speed uh crit capped 268 crit damage a bit low on the uh, crit damage side then 386 uh, accuracy for the blessing we've gone for phantom touch and that is because um i was planning on using him in finite hard 10 um still still working on it but um yeah so Having that chance to do extra damage will help chip weight on the shield. 
Uh, but there's plenty of different options. You can go with GNU if you want. Mastery is we've gone for support and offense. So working into Master Hexer, just try and, let, and uh, that weaken, that decrease attack, keep it out for a little bit longer. Crit rate, crit damage, whirlwind of death. If we do get kills, we'll be even faster. And cycle violence, just to help cycle for our abilities faster. Then taking all that damage on the left-hand side into Giant uh, Slayer, because we do have a lot of uh, triple hitters. So a good chance to just boost our damage up. I guess we can maybe take Flawless Execution. Might help um, just whack up the damage on his uh, A3. Then we've got the Rat King. So he's in a broken set, and then Perception and Speed. Again, just speed, accuracy, and attack. That's all we care about. Um, attack on the gloves. Attack on the chest. No ascension here either. Speed on the boots. Uh, attack on the ring. Attack on the amulet with a nice double roll in um, accuracy. Then accuracy on the banner with speed and a nice triple roll in attack. Very low, 31k HP. But he's not a tank. He's a damage dealer. 6.4k attack. But definitely, I could probably get that to 700 or 7, 7k, maybe even 7.5k with some ascension. Um, 253 speed. And then almost 400 accuracy. Pretty solid. Blessing. It's a hard one. Like bomb champions, I just feel like maybe polymorph for the arena maybe brimstone would be a good option for pve i feel like soul reap though will just help with damage um masteries again kind of funky stuff going on because he doesn't really benefit from a lot of stuff um i guess heart of glory is the best option there again i guess cycle of magic great um, you know, can I guess maybe I didn't take a cycle of manage just because if you're using Amos, um, you know, randomly taking a skill and cooldown can can cause yourself problems. Um, but yeah, pretty simple build, like a very standard PVE build, hugging the left hand side into War Masters and Gaius. So he's in two pieces, uh, perception and then one piece accuracy. Uh, Nice triple roll in speed. Um, again, attack percentage, attack percentage, and then speed on the boots with a nice double roll in attack percentage and a bit of accuracy as well. Attack on the ring, attack on the amulet, and then attack on the banner, attack, 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 speed and attack as well. And we've got some reaction gear as well. Very nice. 31k HP, 6.2k attack. Again, if I did some awakenings and massively bump that up, 246 speed, very, very fast, 466 accuracy. I guess if you did want to use him for arena, I'd say push for at least 600 accuracy, then bring in someone like Lady Kimmy, who's going to boost your Termia strip and increase your, um, your accuracy. So you've got a good chance of blowing up those cleansers. Uh, again, with the blessings, bomb champions is just weird. It's just, there's nothing really there for them. Um, and then masteries, he's in pretty, I guess, eagle eye. Eagle eye is the best option if you want to use them for arena. So maybe for rat king, maybe should have taken um, eagle eye instead. Interesting split on the offense tree. It's just because I did have guys in a different build where he had loads of crit rate. He had crit damage because he can reset his skills on his yeah so on his a3 he'll like detonate bombs and can also ignore unkillable so that's really cool this is a1 so basically if you kill an enemy it can um you grant an extra turn basically so that's one of the reasons why i put loads of attack uh, crit rate and crit damage on him but i do prefer this build i just feel like go with the bombs and ignore the a1 it's a nice ability to have, but it's kind of hard to pull off and you end up sacrificing a lot of stats which you need elsewhere. So personally, I think just go for the speed, the crit rate, sorry, the speed, the accuracy and the attack. 
But um, yeah, but there's some interesting builds you can go with him. But yeah, definitely feel like this is the best option for him. Yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I do feel like bombs are now really viable and the best option for you to be able to just blow bomb away fast, 100%, like full auto. And, you know, bomb champions, they're not just good for bomb all, they are good for the arena as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.